What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today, we're going to break down Fubo TV. I'm going to give you the complete review, let you know if it's worth paying for, if it's worth getting on your Fire Stick, NVIDIA Shield, Roku, or any streaming device, right? So stick around to the end of the video so you know exactly if this is worth your money or not. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Turn on the post notifications so they tell you when I come out with brand new videos. And feel free to check out the links in the description below. I got some awesome affiliate links for all types of streaming gear. So go ahead and look through that if you want. And let's get right into the video. Alright, so Fubo TV. Now, Fubo TV is uh, another streaming service, uh, just like Netflix, Hulu, um, Amazon Prime, all of them. It's a streaming service. Um, it's becoming real popular because it has a ton of sports attached to it, okay? They give you some power in picking what kind of channels and stuff you want. So let's just start breaking this down. First thing, um, if you want to try this out, you can get a free trial. Uh, it's a seven-day free trial. You are going to have to put in your credit card information, but you can obviously stop it before they charge your card. So if you're interested in seeing how this works, you definitely get the free trial. And I'd recommend getting it either way because it is kind of expensive service. So you're going to want to be sure that it's worth paying for it before you up any money, right? So just remember that. Let's scroll down here and see what type of channels they have. Let's see all the channels. Um, I'm not going to list all these off, but as you can see, it's a lot. They got over 100, and it's the popular ones too, like um, MTV, CBS, A&E. One thing to note about Fubo is they added ESPN and Disney channels. But they took away Turner channels. Turner channels are CNN, HLN, TNT, TBS, True TV, Cartoon Network, and TCM. So they got a lot of good channels in there. But they removed the Turner channels and they added the Disney and ESPN channels. So the only problem I see with that is... TNT has a lot of basketball games. So if you're interested in basketball, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the one for you. All right, so Fubo has live sports and live TV. Um, they don't have no contracts, so that's good. And they also have uh, cloud DVR, which not a lot of um, streaming services do have. So you get 30 hours free, and you can watch it on all your devices. And the devices that they cover is just basically like all the main ones. You know, you got iPhone, Android TV, Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Chromecast, Xbox, Samsung. They got a lot of different services that you can use. And chances are you're going to have at least one of these that they cover, right? All right, so once you sign up for your free trial, um, I'm going to take you through the steps. And this is going to be the same if you just skip the free trial and just subscribe. So first thing you're going to do is pick your plan. They got a family plan, elite, and Latino. So the family plan, $65 a month. You get 111 channels, um, 130 plus events in 4K. You get cloud DVR with 250 hours. Um, family share, you got three screens at once. Then you got Elite, which is 157 channels, um, same events in 4K, 130. You got Fubo Extra, which is 46 entertainment channels. Um, you got 1,000 hours of cloud space, and you got up to five streams at once, right? Then the Latino has 32 channels, uh, 250 hours of space, and two screens. And that one's 30 So, as you can see here, these are a lot more expensive than some of the other streaming sites there is, right? But if you think about it, 
this is still less than regular cable. So if you're trying to be a cord cutter, you're trying to go um, straight streaming and have no more cable, this might be a good option for you. Also, you can only select the family or the Latino plan for the free trial. You cannot pick the elite one. So let's put, select the family plan. And a great thing about Fubo is that you can have add-ons. There's all types of different add-ons. I'm not going to go through every single one. But say we got, let's see here, we got our DVR, 250 hours. You can upgrade that to 1,000 hours for 7 extra dollars a month. And you can upgrade your family share to include more people. Then you got NFL Red Zone for $11 a month. And it also comes with all these other sports. Coming down, you got premium channels like Showtime and AMC. Then you got channel packages, a bunch of different ones. Okay, I'm not going to pick any of these, but let's just continue. And once you selected everything, you're going to have to type in your credit card information. And then once you do that and it gets all accepted, you just click Start Watching Fubo. Uh, make sure you download it onto your Fire Stick. I'm going to be making another video on how to do that. So be looking out for that. Um, if you're using a Fire Stick, you can just go to the Amazon App Store and search Fubo TV. And just download and install it. And you should be good to go. What I like to do is always use my computer to set up my information and stuff. And then I'll just download it on the Fire Stick and sign in to the account that I made, right? So I think that about does it for the Fubo TV review. Um, let me know what you think about it. If you already own Fubo subscription, let me know in the comments how you like it. Um, I know probably like two people that have it. And it, it definitely is a little more expensive than, say, Disney+, Plus, uh, Netflix, and stuff like that. But a big thing with this is you got a lot of sports and you got a lot of live TV. So it's basically a cable alternative. And if that's something that you're looking for, check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Again, subscribe if you're new and you like the content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.